Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is our mellow character guide uh, with the Bandit Clan. So in our last episode we took uh, Silas for a little bit of a spin but now we've got uh, our next member of the Bandit Clan to take a look-see at and that is going to be Scarlet. The revolutionary, the Bandit King, just despite being a, a, a vixen, but eh, whatever. Um, so yeah, um, I'm a big fan of Scarlet, as I am sure a lot of you are as well. Her ability, Revolutionary, um, draws a follower card every time she rescues a terrorized settlement. Um, now this one is interesting. It's really, really powerful. Followers are really, really good for the most part, um, and really, really useful for the most part, uh, but they're also free. Uh, they do not cost money anymore. So if you get them, you can use them. Uh, so getting them, uh, it's ver it's rare for a normal hero to uh, uh, get themselves uh, three follower cards. But for Scarlet, with the right tactics, you can make it happen. And let me show you how. So for her ring, uh, we still haven't quite unlocked this one, but this isn't the one that we're going to be going for. For Scarlet, well, she wants to, well, rescue terrorized settlements. So she is um, among the heroes that likes to hold on to settlements. So it makes the most sense for her uh, rings here to be settlement based. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can go about doing that. The pink topaz will give you more money um, uh, from your settlements, doubles the income from them to be exact. Um, and the black opal will give you stealth day and night. Um, either one of these two uh, would be perfectly suited for Scarlet. Uh, I would say probably, well, it depends on, especially if you're playing multiplayer, black opal will oftentimes keep you alive longer. Uh, Pink Topaz allows you to steamroll uh, and get that momentum going if people aren't uh, in the habit of snatching your settlements away from you. So either way, that can work. Um, you know what? 50-50 uh, here. You know what? Uh, we'll go Black Opal. We'll go Black Opal. Just because it's it's one of the two rings you start the game out with, and, and Scarlet's probably the other bandit clan hero that would be worthwhile to uh, uh, work with um, uh, from the beginning. So let's go with that. Now for her amulet, a um, couple of different ways you could go about this. Uh, her stats are really, really balanced, and that's, that gives her a lot of flexibility. Um, fight would actually not be a bad thing. In fact, I'm actually going to recommend fight. The main thing is she is going to want to kill Banes. Uh, oftentimes, a Bane will be occupying a town, and in order to get your rescue bonus, you have to get rid of the Bane in the first place. Um, ba being able to kill Banes effectively and efficiently and reliably is not a bad thing to have anyway, and obviously the fight will certainly keep her alive longer against her fellow heroes. So I think for her, yeah, I'm going to go for the fight. Her other stats, nice and balanced. I like them. Um, let's reroll those heroes. So we don't have two bandit, well, two of any one clan. That's too many wolves, too many bunnies. Um, yeah, we're good. We are good. And it's a different sort of people from, uh, from the last game. So let us begin as Scarlet. Now Scarlet really, really wants um, prestige. She wants to be the prestige leader. She is, she's, you want to, you want to take that prestige lead and you want to try and keep it. And I mean, winning the game with it is certainly no, 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 uh, um, no problem. Will always be mine. That's one of the methods you can go for. That being said, it's always good to have a backup plan. But even even regardless of how you win the game, having it early on is uh, is useful. All right. Um, now, because of her balanced stats, you can be pretty flexible about how you go about uh, which, which rewards you go for. One tip, though, avoid the rewards that give you followers, because you're probably going to be recruiting followers anyway. So we're going to go for the Helm of Heroes. I love the Helm of Heroes. Extra wits never hurts. Um, it's just a good choice all around. Ah, Freaking mountain. All right. Uh, no equipment in our starting hand. That's not good. Uh, poopy pants. Welp. Um, hmm. 
I guess we could buy the moon juice just to help more aggressively empty our hand. Yeah, why not? We'll get regeneration. Again, just aggressively emptying our hand. We'll burn the moon juice. It's only one gold. And then we can uh, do something with the moon bite. Um, since we don't want Zosha coming down this way. Uh, creature. Hmm. Well, we could annoy her that way. I think I'm going to Merchant's Agreement Brun. We might get another ticking Merchant's Agreements like we did with Santa last time. That way we can start making SPAC some money. We'll get some next turn. I doubt he'll die in the interim. River gets herself a Spirit Stone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Zosha's not coming over here. That's good. Under night sky, they arise. Okay, now one thing you do want to pay attention to is um, where what towns are next to what um, uh, dungeons, because that will be kind of where you start picking your stuff. All right, we need equipment badly. No. Well, actually, that's not bad. Okay, uh, Feathered Helm, to be certain. Um, I wonder what that is. I might go for it anyway. Might be worth it. Um, and therefore, to slap on that torch. I mean, I guess I could have put on the lantern. I guess I still can put on the lantern. But, well, let's see what we get here. Before I put on a third piece of equipment. I am willing to gamble with that. Yes! Glad I didn't put on a third piece of equipment, because that helm is mine. And that makes me a lot more confident in tackling uh, this. Um, so before I do anything else, let's uh, let's step on here. Might as well get a little extra gold. Uh, we don't know where our next thing is, but there's a good chance, depending on how uh, the fight between the King's Guard and this Bane goes, um, we, there's a chance that we'll, um, we'll have this town terrorized next, uh, next, um, night time. So, well, it might be worth it to take a step over this way. And hopefully not a lightning... Oh! So, um, going the rot with, uh, Scarlet is an absolute, uh, thing you can do. Um, so I'm not going, I'm just burning that to get it out of my hand. I'm not going to burn the poison dagger because we want the rot and we want to fail this peril. <laughs> now it might seem odd to be going for the rot and, uh, ooh, a plague. It might seem odd to be going for a rot and um, uh, wanting to hunt banes. Well, you do want to do your rot pivot, um, but dying to a bane is actually not so bad because that just gets you more rot. Um, uh, poison dagger, yeah, we'll replace the torch with that since we are in the... Uh, and actually, I might keep that um, to make all rolled swords gain burn a rot because burning a rot once you're corrupted is not a sacrifice. Uh, plague. Plague. What do we want to plague? I usually like to defensively plague my towns, uh, but I'm not going to be able to grab one, and I don't want it to sit in my hand for too long. Um, since I don't think we'll be over in this neck of the woods anytime soon, mm, yeah, we'll plague, uh, we'll plague this little town over here. Well, maybe not. I'll, th I still want to think about it. All right, uh, Berserker. No, we don't need a follower. We don't want, want a Spirit Stone. The Mirror Cape is uh, okay. We'll take the quest, if anything, for the fight, because the fight will be useful. Not so useful. I doubt. I probably will take the safe option for that. Uh, what's a good place to drop my plague? Because I don't want to have... Actually, I kind of do want to be stepping on it myself. And since I'm heading in this direction, well, I can't play it there. Yeah, because you actually do want to plague yourself. Because um, that'll give me an extra rot and help me uh, help me progress my uh, rot uh, 
thing even faster. It used to be that uh, Dark Influence always gave you the plague, but that actually was probably a little bit too powerful for Under the rot player. My name, it is Lord. Eh, I got my equipment. I'm I'm happy. Now, one other thing that you want to keep an eye out on, and this is something you need to track kind of carefully, is um, what, um, what there are three key cards that you want as Scarlet. Uh, one is Cub's Blood, one is Malice Rising, and one is uh, Incite uh, Revolt. These three cards allow you to terrorize on demand a settlement. It basically allows you to instantly proc your, uh, your thing here. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, let's go for more spells. Okay. Um, oh, he ate, he killed the Bane. Well, poop. Hmm. Let's see. Um, Evil Eye would certainly be useful. So would Feral, but I don't anticipate combat in the very near future. So Evil Eye will be... And we'll go ahead and plague this, um, because we kind of want to fail it. Um, and that'll make more room in our hand. We'll get our magic tomorrow morning. And then one, two, three, get our quest. I think we're in good place here. All right, going after Zosha. Well, bam! Took a bit more health off of him. Hmm, so he's going the rot way, too. Uh, River's starting to collect too many spirit stones. She's got two of them already, and this is really early in the game. <laughs> All right. Um, Arise, black beast. I think divination might be. Well, come on, come on, come on. Divination plus f ah, feral. You know, I'm gonna need uh, I'm gonna need the feral to uh, survive against the bane. Bloodthirst, eh? Hmm. Item? No. Trickery. Oof. Well, I got plenty of cards to burn. I do need to take out this Bane, but he is going to, uh... Well, if he kills me, then... Oh, C'est la vie! Um, is there anything that I just want to straight out ditch? And the answer is no. All right, fair enough. I will try to actually kill this Bane. Um, so let's go for the Feral. But if he kills me, I'm not going to be terribly upset about it. And we can burn all of these other cards out of our hand. Like, literally all of them. We can dictate our roles perfectly. We'll, get, we'll burn our two wild cards before they become useless. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. Eh, I should, I might have th saved, yeah, <laughs> all of my dice were spoken for. And, ouch. I think this might be a double kill. Yep, that's okay. I'm corrupted. And it get, got rid of my poison anyway, so I'm not upset about that. Not terribly upset about that. And I'm the prestige leader, just out oh, or not. Now we do need to get one more, um, one more rot before we can really start uh, devouring the Banes. 
What are you? You're you're on one rot. I could take him out, and now I don't mind trying to. And now my poison dagger is actually worthwhile now that I can burn rots for attacks plus um, giving me the poison bonus. It's very rare that I've actually actually genuinely, legitimately wanted to use the poison dagger. Let my rule be heard. I thought they got rid of this one. It might have been one of the other ones that they got rid of. Oh, how do I get uh, a sixth rot? Huh. I might have miscalculated. Oh, you know what it was? The double kill as I became corrupted and then I killed him and, got, and gained his rot. That works perfectly. Wait, what am I doing? Alright, item, item... Trickery, trickery, trickery. Ooh, a strategist, good. Wow, double arson. That's horrible, actually. <laughs> um, Iron Pike is tempting. Although, I don't want to get rid of my defensive equipment, either. That haste ain't half bad. <laughs> no, I'm not stepping in the stone circle. Fortunately, since everyone's stealth, um, the chances of me actually getting around to burning my uh, burning my cards here is next to nothing. Which stinks, because these arsons suck. Especially since we want our prestige, thank you very much. But I'll take the haste. Embrace darkness. Ooh, a bane. Heroes. Hmm, I could just eat the bane. It might actually be a good idea, because I want the uh, prestige and I want the... Uh, um, also, I can start... I can burn the cards in my hand. Uh, so yeah, let's eat the bane. He's a fresh one, so he'll only have five rot, uh, which means I will eat his breakfast. We also want to make sure we continuously gain ourselves rot uh, so we can keep up with the king. I am not ditching that strategist. That is a good ace to have in the hole. I'm keeping that bad boy around. You want that for rapid entry into the palace. Yeah, go ahead, damage me one. I'll suck it back up. Gaining a little more health at this point not, would not be a bad idea. And I'll go into here because there's a chance for, well, more Banes. Like that! Come at me! Or, well, I'll come at you. They won't come at you if you're corrupted. So yeah, we haven't even activated our, uh, our ability here. Come on, I need more, I need more, yeah, there we go, more attacks. I need to eat them. I don't need that much defense. <laughs> well, I got him off the tile anyway. Maybe he'll go off and, uh, well, he's not near, near enough to towns. I can get him next turn. And some extra gold, that don't hurt. Hmm. Must have completed a quest. All right, King's only on four rot, so... But he's still too healthy, and, and I don't, wouldn't gain enough of the thing. So a... Uh, an early king attack would not... Uh, oh, my Moonbite went off on her. Nice. Ah. That's my bane. A little rat bastard. All right. Um, I don't know if taking her down would be a, an option. We'll see what the deck By is. My name 
Oh my God! Thank you, Bruin. Oh, Bruin is my friend. See, one of the reasons why you want to be prestige leader is you have the ability to get one of the two edicts that will cause mass town terrorization. Um, that is one of them. All right, uh, let's go for trickery. Ooh, sharpshooter, slanderous toad, saboteur. That's a good one. Blood. Ooh. All right, what do you got? Um, what equipment do you have? Iron pike oaks. Ooh. Ah, no, do not want. Ugh, but I do want to get through you. And I can't go around that, so I am going to have to go through you. So have a saboteur. We'll kick off some blood money. You are not wanted. Let's see how this works. And you're also not rotted. Yeah, I need some defenses here. This is a risky move, but... Oh, that reflect! That reflect got me! Damn. Didn't even bring her into sharpshooter range. I'm, uh, at this point, I'm abandoning the prestige race, um, because it is, it's quite clear that, uh... Oh, why couldn't you have done that before? Double kill. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm abandoning the prestige race at this point, um, mainly because of how much rot I have. I'm pretty much pot committing to a uh, rot victory. Which means I don't mind attacking King's Guards if I need to. I do want to make my way over to this one up here. Because that'll bring me closer to my quest. Under night sky, they arise. Boy, everyone's picking up rot this game. Excellent! Because I'm kind of king of the whole rot thing. All right, what can you do for me? Give me a teleport. Oh, the flame's not bad. Let's keep digging. Rotten fog. Eh. Cursed lands, fine. Pickpockets, meh. Yeah, we'll go just beeline for that. Man, for playing the raw player, I have three stone circles right, right in my neighborhood here. That kind of sucks. Uh, not gonna lie. Oh, actually, these cursed lands, these these cards like are good for rolls. To be honest here. Um, so the aflame, yeah, I can't just take down the guard. And I won't have, I won't necessarily have to antagonize him. I can get him next turn, he'll move. What in the world was that? Did you just Malice Rising a Bane? into a stone circle? Well, there goes Malice Rising off the list of uh, Bane Summoners. I'm going to have to start digging into either the Trickery or the Item Deck. Uh, hoping, uh, probably the Item Deck, because at this point I want the Cub's Blood. Ah, uh, River sucking up all the Dark Influences. Can I get some of that? Yeah, go play your Prestige game. I'm going for rot. I do need to keep my rot because his, he, his is ticking up every single, well, every other turn anyway. And yeah, I'm not cycling my hand as fast as I normally do, but, uh... Perfect. It is so. Meh. All right, well, you moved off there. 
I don't think there were any Banes alive for that. All right, so time for my first free follower card. An Explorer. Not the best, but I'll take them. Not going to complain. All right, you are not in. Ooh. Oh. Zosha, come closer, young lady. Come closer. Please, come closer, young lady. Oh, wait a minute. I can just sharpshooter you. I am willing to do that. Bink. Uh, as for a flame... Yeah, we might as well weaken Brun here. I'm keeping these just to roll for the, uh, just for rolling. And hopefully his, uh, they'll just kill each other or not. Boy, everyone's getting in on this. <laughs> Good night, River. Boy, Brun with the perils here. Jeez. Uh, I do want to pickpockets my own town uh, to protect it. Uh, but I don't want to do that with me standing on it. What shall come this eve? Hmm. I hope the Bane wins so I can take a bite out of him. Damn. All right. Ooh, a teleport. Beautiful. Cub's blood? Nope, no cub blood. Cub's blood. Um, I do want to get my quest first, and then I can swing around for the Bane. Mm, uh, yeah, no, I'm just going to take the no test, because I don't want the mirror cape. No sense in risking a damage. Um, but yeah, let's pop our head in here. Yeah, come... Well, he's not going to come at me. But he'll spawn. More Banes are good, regardless. Now, I don't have a great distance on my teleport here, but it's enough to cast it. I might uh, pop my head over on the other side of the castle, but I'll see where my quest is first. To rot or a bane blade. Ooh, a bane blade. We want the bane blade. I need the extra health anyway. Oh, it's right where I wanted to go anyway. Beautiful. Well, if I go here, I'll get hit by whatever that uh, peril is, but might be worth it anyway. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Let's make sure we get that uh, protected. All right, now I got lots of rot cards. Oh. And everyone's taking rot damage. I think after I get this last quest, I'll go after the king. Is that plus two? Well, no, that Bane Blade. The kingdom shall know my rule. Yeah, that's fine. I don't need the money at this point. I'm running off of pure evil. Oh, you stupid guard. That really sucked. I'm going to go digging in the uh, uh, trickery deck to see if I can get some false orders. Damn. Hmm, I wonder if, well, I need to go there anyway. Um, burning the strategist is tempting but foolish. Because if I go one, two, so, because I'm going to want to, well, I don't, I'm not going to, I don't know where it's going to have me enter, but... Uh, Yeah. If another town gets terrorized, I'll uh, I'll burn the emissary to claim it and hopefully a follower. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. All right. That was an unlucky move by the King's Guard, but not worth uh, sacrificing our saboteur. Or our uh, strategist, rather. Although, well, we can't pay for them anyway, because we don't have the money. See, he's avoiding my town. Uh, I don't care. Oh boy. All right, so down she goes. The rot shall creep. Hmm. Oh, well, thank you to whoever reinforced my town. Yeah, I do want to get that extra health. Uh... Yeah, I figured that was a pro that was going to be a problem. All right, well, let's uh, let's see what we got here in terms of our peril. Bribery, eh? Um, well, we can use this to get rid of unwanted cards. Um, the saboteur is not entirely useful. Uh, we can get rid of the... Well, these are going to be good for combat. If he takes my... Uh, if he takes my explorer, he takes my explorer. I don't really care that much. And he's not a key follower. It's not like he's uh, robbing me of a uh, of a blacksmith or an apprentice here. <laughs> oh, totally worth the challenge here. Yes, worth two. Um. You know, the poison isn't going to be worthwhile anymore, because um, you can't... Poisoning the king is kind of pointless. Uh, so we'll just replace this. And a berserker for our thing. And fight shield to sword symbols, A. Eh? Oh, uh, well, we'll take him for the plus one fight anyway. That'll be useful on its own right. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to go up here and end my turn. Uh, I do not, there's no real reason for me to futz with the guard. I also, um, am, it was that, I don't think that was my last quest, but the, um, six wits, I'm, 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 I'm confident in my ability to, uh, um, get into the, into that town or into that castle. Royal Pardon, the Rot, Alchemist. Royal Pardon means nothing. Um, I'll take this for the Alchemist. I doubt I'm going to get around to actually doing that quest. Because I'm going for the palace at this point. The time is right. My Rot count is right. The King is weak enough. It is. I've got some really good cards here. Bounty is going to be annoying because these they're gonna act in the morning yeah. <laughs> well, at least you didn't get a chance to uh... oh geez another one oh now I'm gonna get <sighs> double bounty here well poop and my berserker is going to uh... let's try something new Oh, I'm the prestige leader? Well, I already have a bounty. Hmm. Yes. And why not? Choice. I'm going to be... Hopefully that person, they... Yeah, hopefully that sends them into the palace and hopefully not into my... Yep. No, wrong square. Oh, right square. Yay! That worked out perfectly. Okay, um, 
Well, let's 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 think about this logically. We have magic. We need we need a but oh, that doesn't work. But it gives us an extra symbol to try. All right, fingers crossed. Hmm. I want to save the rotten fog for um, combat. So let's. Yes. Do I have the money for a strategist? Yes, I have the money for strategist. Ha ha. All right, folks. Here we go. I got nine rot. He's got seven. Fingers crossed. Mmm, all those dice. Now this is still dangerous. Especially with that Bane Blade, but look Your at that. journey ends here, hero. Not gonna burn the Banish, because that's gonna be a failed one, and we don't want any more of those than we can get away with here. Many dice! More shields, please! I think I've got him pretty well dead here. I just need to survive. Yes, 16! <laughs> mm, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Phew! Dink, 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 dink. Chink, 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 chink. Ah. Uh, what's up here? Om nom nom. Ah, uh, yes. The satisfying and delightful rot victory was Scarlet. So we, um... We didn't, um, we didn't actually uh, get a chance to use her power all that effectively, but um, that being said, I, uh, I'm, I'm happy with what we got. Um, and it gave me the inspiration to go rot heavy right from the beginning, which allowed me to get a rot victory. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this guide uh, for Scarlet. Uh, so stay tuned, we are, we've got two more uh, uh, Bandit Clan heroes left to go. So if you like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar, signing out. See ya!